Yo, what's going on guys, Kool-Aid here, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how I optimize my PC for gaming that allows me to get over 300 FPS in Fortnite and other games as well. This is just going to be going over some simple steps I did in my Windows, Nvidia, and actually some other things I did to my PC that are going to help boost your FPS and actually reduce input delay as well. Now before the video starts, I'd really appreciate it if you guys would drop a like and subscribe, but now let's get right into the video. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start out right here on your uh, typical Windows desktop. We're going to go down here to the little search magnifying glass and we're going to type in settings already came up for me we're going to open our settings and we're going to come over here to system and then we're going to come over here to dis display make sure that you click on the monitor that you use to play fortnite i use my second monitor to play fortnite so i'm going to make sure i click on number two for me and then i'm going to make sure that um my resolution is on the resolution that i actually play fortnite on which is 1080p by 1920 so if you are going to play on any other stretch resolution, uh, you need to also make sure you change that here as well as if you're uh, NVIDIA. So make sure that is all good. And then we're going to come over here to notifications and actions and make sure that is turned off. Bokeh of Sift, turn that off as well. Storage, you just want to make sure that it's not in the red. When it's in the red, that means you need to delete some either uh, some files of yours that is taking up too much space or apps as well. Uh, then we're going to come over here to tablet uh, don't worry about tablet just leave that alone but make sure it's on don't switch to tablet mode multitasking turn off as long with tab uh, timeline and we're going to come over here and we're going to go back to the settings the normal thing we're going to come over here to app and we're just going to go ahead and make sure that we have all malware uh, deleted and any apps that we're not using deleted as well Obviously here you can see I have the Acer stuff because this is an Acer laptop. But all you as uh, you can see here I have all these games downloaded and uh, editing software and everything like that. But if I had any malware, which I do not, I've already deleted all my malware, I would delete that as well. Like um, some malware includes McCafe and other things that are supposed to be good for your PC, they can be bad. So make sure you do a little bit of research for yourself and uh, figure out what apps you have on your PC that is malware, which uh, honestly just take up space and make your PC much slower. Um, and then we're gonna go over here to video playback. I'm going to make sure that auto process video to enhance it is turned off because that's going to take up a little bit of your PC's RAM. And then we're going to go back to the settings. We're going to go to gaming. It's a little Xbox symbol. And we're going to make sure the game bar is off. Captures. We want the recording to be off and the recording audio off as well. And make sure that you go ahead and click on 30 FPS as well because that, uh, even though it's not recording, that's going to make sure that it surely is not using your RAM. Then game mode on because game mode is actually pretty good. I'm going to back up and then the next thing we're going to do is come over here to updates and security. We're going to go ahead and check on our Windows update. And as you can see, I have an update here, but it, it is pending. So I am going to go ahead and um, install that later. I'm not going to do it now. But you always want to make sure that your windows is completely updated but do not get do not update to windows 11. windows 11 is terrible for gaming and causes a lot of stutters and things like that so make sure that you stay on windows 10 or uh make sure that you just don't update to windows 11 as well because that's going to be very bad for your pc and then we're gonna go over here and finally we're all done with our settings bar right here next thing we're gonna do is go back to the magnifying glass and type in uh nvidia and um once you start typing it up geforce experience is gonna pop up and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open that but now that it's open as you can see i'm already signed in and everything like that i'm gonna come over here to drivers and this is where you actually update your uh, GPU drivers that's going to help out with getting better FPS and reducing input delay. So I'm just going to go ahead and check for updates. And as you can see, it's pending. And as you can see right there, it's already got a new update for me. So I'm going to download that later, not right now for the sake of this video. But as you can see, I need to go ahead and update that and I will. And that's going to help me boost my FPS. So just checking to make sure that your PC is updated all the time is very helpful when it comes to FPS for Fortnite. Then, the final thing we're going to do, we're going to right click on our PC and we're going to open NVIDIA Control Panel. 
but this is where you actually control all your graphics for your PC because this is uh, where you get your GPU setting. And as you know, GPU is for graphics, so as obviously it just makes more sense. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here to adjust image with adjust settings with preview. You're going to make sure that you use the uh, advanced 3D settings. We're going to hit take me there. It's going to bring it all the way over here and you're just going to go ahead and copy these settings. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more for you guys so that you can see them much better. And then we're going to go ahead and go. So you want image scaling off, ambient occur, uh, occlusion off, uh, filtering off, anti-aliasing off, gamma correction off, anti-aliasing mode off. Uh, those two you cannot control, but you want that on none and off. Background maximum frame rate off. Coda GPUs, turn that on, it's actually pretty good. DSR factors off, DSR smoothness off, low latency mode ultra. So this one's actually really important, but just make sure it's on ultra. That's all you gotta do. Maximum frame rate off, maximum or multiple frame rate sampling off. Uh, OpenGL rendering GPU. Make sure that it is set on your GPU and not your uh, not your CPU because your CPU has an integrated great integrated graphics. So you need to make sure that's on your GPU. As you can see, GTX uh, 1650. That's what I have. Power management mode. Prefer consistent performance. This is for all laptop users. You're just gonna make sure it's on uh, uh, maximum performance actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that. And we're going to go to preferred for refresh rate um application control this is so that you can control your refresh rate and everything from your actual game like fortnite uh shader cache default drivers texture filtering on uh texture filtering negative allow texture filtering quality make sure that's on high performance that's also a really important one texture filtering trilineal optimization on threading optimization off triple buffering off vertical sync off uh, make sure this is on one and then the last thing make sure that's off then we're just going to click over here and we're going to make sure that you actually hit apply to make sure that all those settings go through get a second to load and there we go so we got it all applied and we're good to go and then we're going to click over here to set uh physics compacts and uh configuration and we're going to make sure that that's on your gpu as you can see it will go to your cpu automatically um so that's why you need to actually put it on your gpu so that you help out your cpu a bit now we're going to go to change resolution just make sure that you're on your monitor as you can see i have the scepter monitor i'm connected via hdmi which is okay it's going to be on native 1920 by 1080 and then refresh rate it's going to automatically choose a lower refresh rate than what your pc actually uses so i went ahead and made sure mine's on 160 and then everything else doesn't matter go ahead and hit apply it's going to black screen for a second and then it's going to come up with these saving this you're going to hit yes and there you go and then we're going to change the colors and the only colors we're going to change is the digital digital vibrancy right here we're going to turn that up it normally is on 50 but we're going to put that on 75 and hit apply that's going to make your game a little bit brighter and not only that but the colors are going to stick out way more better you're going to be able to see way better so the next thing we're going to do is make sure that we're on adjust desktop size and proportion go to scaling and then put it make sure it's on aspect ratio this is so that it will be a perfect um fit for your screen make sure no full screen or none of those you don't want it on that but make sure it's on aspect ratio the resolution to be on 1920 by 1080 or whatever res you are playing on you can play stretch res and then you need to make sure your refresh rate is on whatever you use normally mine's on 165 and that's what i normally use because that's what my monitor's max is then we're all good here on our nvidia control panel we need to go ahead and close out of that and now we're going to go ahead and launch fortnite so i'll be right back once that's launched 
Hey right, guys, so now that we've uh, like, went ahead and launched Fortnite, we're here in the lobby. We're just going to go over some settings that I actually use. And so the first one's going to be Windows mode uh, on full screen, then 1920 by 1080 like I said earlier, display native. Then I cap my uh, FPS at 200, but basically the cap is whatever you can get stable. I can get 200 FPS stable, but I can get up to 300 FPS, but it's not stable like I said. Brightness, I play on 100, um, I play Protonope 5 because that's the best color settings to be able to see in the storm. But these are the actual settings that matter and that is your uh, GPU setting. So uh, the 3D resolution, 100%. Uh, view distance on near because you don't need anything more than that. Textures on low. Uh, the uh, auto downloading high resolution textures off. The high resolution textures off as well. Reminders because those are boring. Low meshes on low, this gives me the best input delay. And then uh, advanced graphics settings, VSync off, show FPS on, and then rendering mode, performance mode, like every other pro is on. So uh, just uh, go ahead and apply these settings when you're in Fortnite, and that's gonna help your FPS a lot as well, but I'm not finished yet. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit Alt Z to go ahead and pull up my GeForce experience. And I'm gonna turn off my instant replay mode so I can be able to change the settings. And then I'm going to go over here, resolution on 1080p uh, HD and refresh rate uh, or frame rate on 60. Uh, make sure that you don't play on any of these um, predetermined ones, but make sure you customize your own and uh, make sure that the bit rate, I put it on 100, I put it on 50 megabytes per second because that is uh, honestly pretty good bit rate uh, when it comes to replay mode. But uh, you want to make sure that your uh, timing is actually on a low amount of time. I recommend about a minute to uh, 30 seconds because those are going to be the sweet spots where it doesn't use too much RAM but you are able to clip some pretty decent clips when it comes to uh, uh, things like that. So I put mine on 30 seconds but as you can see it almost uses 200 megabytes since it's in uh, 1080p but if your laptop's a little bit worse you can go ahead and change it down to 720p it's not that bad looking and honestly uh, it will help out when it comes to your RAM as well. And then go ahead and hit save and then turn that back on and then there we go so that's going to be uh, the complete optimization guide to how i optimize my pc for fortnite and if you guys enjoyed it and you found out that it helped you a lot or if you have any questions just comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you guys for watching and have a great day guys peace out